I'm speechless. Oh my word! That was incredible. <laughs> nice job, Brian. Is that oh, a real gun? That is a freaking real gun, dude. That, but that's something. I was filming out the window and I just happened to catch this out of the corner of my eye. This was a legit straight up find off the side of the road. Check this out. Oh, stop. I think I saw something. I thought I saw something. I saw that. I, we were just driving up this road and it's just laying there. Holy cow, dude. Is that oh, a real gun? That is a freaking real gun, dude. Oh my word. Are you okay? That, I thought you were just like, I saw a snake, but that's something. Okay, Jake, will you go grab my uh, Your phone? Grab my phone. Oh. So when we were driving, I happened to look down out of the window and as we're driving by and I'm, I saw it and I'm like, that's the shape of a gun. That is such a score. You literally found a gun that who knows who held it. So we're gonna, we're gonna slowly excavate this with air. This is not planted, this is a legit surface find laying in the middle, well, on the side of the road, on the hillside. It's... Okay, the last person that had this in their hand, who knows? So we're gonna just lift it up off of the... Oh, oh the handle on the other side is like preserved somewhat. I can't tell if it... Bullets in it? Nope. It's, it's not loaded. At least... That I can tell. Even if it was, it wouldn't shoot. Octagon barrel. I, I don't even, I don't know, I don't even, bleh, I can't even talk. Usually when you find that stuff, it's metal detect, not on the surface. I, I'm speechless. I, I really am speechless. This is probably one of my best and most favorite finds. There's got to be history to this. Can I hold it? Yeah. Just like that. I feel like if it was 1800s, it would be, the condition would be more deteriorated. I feel like that might be turn of the century. Right you know in that what? little- We should get the metal detector and detect this spot right here. Do you want me to go get it? Yeah. Which one, the big coil or- No, the one, the little one that okay. we were using yesterday. Wow. It's crazy. Where is, where is, is this the trigger? Yeah. Good grief. There's no, so this there's thing, no trigger guard. Right. Um, yeah, as you pull back the hammer and you tap it and you're shooting. It could have been a stolen gun, fell off the guy's holster when he was riding his horse up to work. Take it over in the sunshine here. Look at that. What time period do you think? 1800s, probably. That is a good question. I have no idea. So I'm so I'm so nervous that this handle is going to get messed up or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wrap it up in this shirt and I'm going to put it in my brute magnetics case right here. Hopefully it won't. The handle will stay intact. I still am in shock. I can't. I can't even believe it. Okay, that baby isn't going anywhere. I, I don't even know what to say. That was incredible. <laughs> nice job, Ryan. Okay, so for any of you gun guys that are interested in trying to identify this thing, I would love to see what you think. So, cylinder is just about 
an inch. The barrel is a little over an inch. So this kind of gives you an idea of how big this thing is. Here's a unique part of the gun. It's got this kind of tapered deal there. Um, so I have a feeling you, you could pull that and the cylinder would come out. And I believe it's a 38. Let's take a look and see. Okay, so here's some cool views of it. If you notice the shape of the hammer, it's got the spur trigger on it. Unfortunately, I can't get any numbers or any information off of it. It's just too corroded. So if anybody can identify this gun, please leave your comment down in the bottom and uh, be as specific as possible. And I'll do some research and you'll definitely get a shout out if you correctly identify it.